Dr. Sean Thistle. On behalf of myself and Dr. Simon Wang, I'd like to welcome you to the science of the chiropractic adjustment. Have we cracked the code? Since you're here, it appears that you share our fascination and interest in this topic, specifically how our primary form of treatment as chiropractors, high velocity, low amplitude spinal manipulation, works. For the first time, I'm going to co-present this course, and I'm very proud to have Dr. Simon Wang with me. He has been on faculty for a number of years and is very popular with the students. In the last few years, I've been doing some guest lecturing in his course, and over that time, we started talking about this topic and decided to work together on this program. He and I also speak internationally on this topic at chiropractic conferences and understand the enthusiasm that our colleagues have for this topic. Our goal with this program is to summarize this complex literature in a meaningful way for practicing chiropractors, chiropractic students, and even other healthcare providers. Let me tell you about our approach for how we created this content. Depending on where you went to school or whether you're still in school or when you graduated, we were all taught slightly different ideas about how a chiropractic adjustment works. Dr. Wang and I wanted to see if these models held up, if they've been evolved, or if they should be scrapped entirely. Our goal was to summarize and integrate all of this work in the context of the entire body of literature, trying to decide along the way what moves the needle in terms of what matters to our patients and how we can apply it to our patient care. This topic is certainly complex with numerous types of research to include. We attempted to capture and summarize all research angles and topics to try and arrive at a working model that we can discuss with our patients. We're going to revisit this later on in the course. I'd now like to go through the learning objectives for this e-seminar. First, we're going to briefly review existing and historical models of high velocity, low amplitude spinal manipulation and some other types of manual therapy along the way to give you an idea where we came from and how we frame and approach the idea of defining manipulation and creating a working model in which we can conduct research and enhance patient care. Second, we're going to explore many contemporary areas of scientific inquiry into the exact mechanisms of action of high-velocity spinal manipulation. This will form the bulk of the course, and we're going to cover a lot of interesting topics, including neurophysiology, the neurophysiology of pain, blood biomarkers and immunology, and spinal biomechanics, and more. Third, we're going to outline the relevant gaps that we still have in the literature to provide a little bit of a roadmap for where we need more knowledge. Finally, we're going to illustrate and really focus on how this relates to daily patient care for you as a practicing chiropractor or a clinician in another discipline. A little bit of housekeeping before we start section one. Dr. Wang and I have organized this course into video sections and quizzes. We need you to complete those in the order in which they're presented the first time you go through the course. Once you obtain your certificate of completion, you can revisit any section of the course at your leisure. We've also put together course notes that we encourage you to have with you while you watch the video sections. They will contain a little bit more detail than what we will show on screen. There's also a full reference list for every paper we discuss in this program. At the end of the course, we will ask you to complete a feedback form, so please start thinking about suggestions for future topics and ways we can improve this format to maximize and optimize your learning experience. If you encounter technical support issues, you can reach out for help at our brand new tech support address, which is support at seanthistle.com. On behalf of Dr. Wang and myself, we truly thank you for joining us for this e-seminar, and we hope you enjoy it.